This is Rowan, and this is an off-the-cuff public service announcement about this particular computer. Um, it's a fine computer. It's okay if all you want to do is be a business person working on a um, home office computer or in a small office, and you just want a computer. It's fine. Um, it's a little underpowered. You can get a bigger um, SSD for it instead of the um, standard spinny hard drive that's in there. Um, you can change out its um, NVMe RAM also. Um, well, it's NVMe drive. I don't call it RAM. It's an NVMe drive, which is like for those of you who are not in the tech savvy um bulk of people it's it's a solid state little stick that looks like a piece of ram with little connectors on one side and you pop it into a little slot and it and it gives you um a hard drive with no moving parts it's fairly fast you can get um one terabyte into this thing easily maybe two i haven't tried that so um, before you get your hopes up, though, that's about all you can do with this. You can put in 64 gigs of RAM. You can get about a one terabyte drive and an, and a uh, solid state SSD drive on top of that, up to how big you want. Um, and that's fine if you're just going to be, you know, running it for Microsoft Excel and doing some basic web serving and surfing. And, um, you know, I'm looking at mine right now. So why is this a public service announcement? Well, if you're like me and you like to tinker with your computers and you like to upgrade them, change out their video cards, you know, maybe do a couple of things that... Um, you know, it uh, goes beyond the basic word processing and surfing and, you know, doing simple things. Um, this is not the computer for you. Um, it used to be. It used to be that you could buy any standard PC off the shelf and you could take it apart and put it back together and you could change things out like the power supply, um, the video card, the RAM, um, you know, all sorts of the components, things that have little levers on them that you're supposed to be able to pop off and swap in something new to um, basically take your base model and upgrade it to what you want it to do. And um, companies don't want you to do that. They want you to go out and buy the freaking Lamborghini and then wonder why your gas mileage sucks, okay? Uh, they don't want you to go out and get a piece of equipment that has a base value to it that you can, you know, count on knowing what it's going to do and upgrade parts um, because they don't make money that way. Yeah. So this is not the PC for you if you want to go beyond simple hard drive swaps and RAM upgrades. Yeah, it costs like $700 or something like that at Costco. So if that's all you want to do, that's great. More power to you. If you're like me and you're like, well, um, I want to put a better graphics card in it. Um, sorry, you have to get a bigger power supply. And, um, by the way, the power supply is, um, proprietary. It doesn't have a standard connector on it because the motherboard is proprietary. It doesn't have a standard power connector on it. And, um, you know, all those motherboards, uh, should have those cards. Uh, you should be able to put a, you know, the, the, this is the problem. Proprietary schmumpiratary. You know, uh, you want to upgrade your computer, don't get this. Just don't. Um, I've spent days, way too much time. I've spent way too much time going to the Dell website, trying to get their proprietary 
power supply upgrade. It's not listed. You want to know why? I'm going to bet you because there is a model of this computer that has a 460 watt power supply in it. It comes with a GeForce 3060, I think, um, graphics card. And guess what? You can't upgrade that either. Um, but I'm going to bet you, I'll bet you that the motherboard in my PC and the motherboard in the PC that handles the better graphics card are different. I'm going to bet you that the power supply not only is different by, oh, the difference between 180 and 460 watts, I'm going to bet you that the pinouts on its proprietary um, power supply are going to be different from the ones in my computer. So even if I got their 460 watt power supply and put it into my computer, it wouldn't work. And it would probably actually fry my computer because even though the case is identical, even though the motherboard looks identical, I'm going to bet you that they don't want you messing with this equipment. They don't want you to be able to buy one piece of equipment, go get a power supply from somewhere else, pop it in there, and go out and buy your own video card. They just don't. It doesn't make money for them. Instead, they want you to be limited to buying uh, model A, B, or C. And uh, God forbid you buy the wrong model. Yeah, so here we are. Um, yeah, pretty case. Works okay for what I'm doing now, but I'm very limited, and I hate being limited. So now I have to figure out, oh God, why is it like this? Why is it either, here, you go play in the kiddie pool, or here's the thousand foot deep um, freaking marine training pool. Here's your 20 pound weight. Go swim. Why is it like that, huh? Yeah. That's just the way things seems to be. I need to go take my special forces training now to figure out how to put together a proper PC. And we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, if you like this, then buy it. If you want to do anything other than be, oh, I don't know, a desktop cubicle monkey, um, then don't buy this. All right? Yeah. By the way, Dell, thanks a lot.